Hello and welcome to Live Wire Markets. My name is Chris Conway. On today's episode of The Pitch, we're sitting down with Macquarie Asset Management's Benjamin Leung. He's going to be talking to us about the future of systematic investing. Ben, thanks for joining us on The Pitch. Well, thanks for having me. Of course. How is AI changing the systematic investing game? AI. Yeah, it's very topical at the moment. I think the answer is it is and it isn't. Right. Nothing's absolute in this world. Uh, and I'll explain why. I guess as a systematic investor, we've always been experimenting uh, with um, AI uh, and machine learning techniques. Uh, and some of the technology that's enabled uh, things like um, large language models and, and chat GPT is something that we've been experimenting with. Um, but you know, it's, it, it's fair to say that the aspirations of having a generative AI to give me a stock portfolio is still quite a distance away. But where it is making an impact uh, really is the opportunity to tremendously increase uh, productivity uh, as an analyst or, or as a person. I think never before in history has anyone or a population has uh, such a powerful tool uh, in, in, um, in, in reach. You just need to look online to see how many creative uses uh, people are using ChatGPT or things like ChatGPT for. Uh, and ultimately, whether it makes a, a or whether it is a game-changing moment for you uh, will depend on how you utilize it as, as an individual. Uh, anecdotally, you know, I found enormous uh, benefits from uh, using generative uh, AI. Uh, one of the things that uh, I use it for, and I've he heard other experts talk about this, is really using it as a challenger tool. Um, you know, I caution that we shouldn't ask for it for investment advice, but it's actually a fantastic tool to um, sound board or test your ideas against. You know, if you wanted to buy a stock, uh, you talk to ChatGPT and go, why wouldn't you buy a stock? Pretend you're Warren Buffett, tell me why um, or what else I should think about. Um, and that's really been uh, insightful uh, for me as an individual, but also help you, I guess, break out of the behavioral biases that I've spoken about. You know, I really encourage uh, people to, to, to utilize the tool and uh, be comfortable with it because, uh, as you're saying, it's only a matter of time, I think, before it becomes uh, an essential part of our existence. Ben, you analyze an incredible amount of data as we've talked about. What are some of the major trends you've seen over recent years when doing that analysis? We are seeing increasing numbers uh, of small niche data providers. That is a function of, of, of a couple of things. One, I think it's just a general appreciation of the value of data as, as, uh, as part of the decision-making process. Secondly, probably in terms of the amount of VC capital that's going into AI space. Um, and both of those things have, have cre created uh, a proliferation of data vendors, uh, and that's been really enriching uh, to, to our research process. And for, for us, uh, we've been seeing uh, uh, activity uh, in the non-structure and alternative data uh, side of things uh, in terms of uh, ESG uh, information, and uh, that's created a lot of uh, ideas that uh, we we're exploring at this point. Ben, just a quick follow-up, if I may. Non-structured. Some people out there won't understand that concept. Can you just quickly talk us through that? Yeah, so, so non-structured data is just basically referring to uh, information that is not organized for a computer uh, to understand. So, you know, a computer deals pretty well with a, a spreadsheet, with a table, uh, etc. cetera, uh, but give them a broker report, give them a speech, uh, and they often struggle. And, and I guess that's where LLMs, uh, large language models, uh, is really going to be useful. Uh, but uh, the ability to access those transcripts uh, now has uh, become a, a potential source of value add and we're seeing um, market participants enter that space. Thanks, Ben. Uh, what are some of the novel uses of AI when it comes to analyzing data? Yeah, I mean, we've been experimenting with machine learning uh, for a long time. Uh, we use uh, machine learning techniques uh, to help uh, resample our data to increase the, the robustness um, and I guess the, the, the strength of our models. We use large language models to evaluate sentiments uh, in transcripts uh, and, and things like that. Uh, and we use various forms of uh, machine learning to enhance our sentiment detection, just to, to mention a few. And of course, the example I gave before around using AI as a challenger, um, there's a lot of innovation uh, by the analysts themselves as to how they enhance uh, their research process. Um, you know, they come across a research problem that they can't get their head around. Uh, they would ask ChatGPT uh, or GitHub uh, to help them understand how they could formulate and translate that into a, a mathematic formula. Uh, and that's kind of where we're seeing usage there. Ben, what is one set of data that you would love to be able to quantify, but perhaps the technology doesn't quite allow for it just yet? Yeah, I mean, you know, if I dream big, you know, I, I'm really excited about uh, the prospect of quantum computing. Um, you know, I'm not an expert in the technology, uh, but based on what I understand, I think it's really changing the paradigm away from the existing way which we analyze data based on ones and zeros. 
and make it more analogous to how, how the world works um, in, in a more analog way. And the ability for it to consume huge amount of information and, and um, make prediction, I understand, is, is enormous. The industry and the world is making breakthrough in, in that technology, uh, even as we speak. So if I had to put um, something on the table, I, I'd, I'd be very excited to see how quantum computing plays out. Ben, it's an incredibly exciting space. Thank you so much for taking us through it. Thanks for sitting down with Livewire. Thank you, Chris. If you enjoyed that episode of The Pitch as much as I did, make sure to give it a like. And don't forget to follow our YouTube channel because we're adding lots of great content every single week.